Hey everybody, it's Pastor Bob, and welcome to the next installment of Three Minute Bible Bites. Hey, I'm walking around here in our beautiful church building, and it looks very different than I'm used to seeing. And I started thinking about all the blessings that I have, all the blessings that we have every day when we get the chance to pastor this church. It's so easy to take everything that we have for granted. I take for granted walking into this beautiful building at any time of day practically, and the coffee shop is buzzing, and there are people meeting, there are people doing Bible studies, prophetic ministries, all the things that make this building come alive have in this time of quarantine been taken away from us. And it makes you realize that although this building is amazing, this building is such a great place for us to come together and get to experience what God has for us together, this building is not the church. We are the church. And although I look forward to the day when we get to come back together and celebrate what God has brought us through, we get to come back together and enjoy each other's fellowship in this place. And once again, this building will be alive with people just, just celebrating who God is and what he has done. When that day comes, we'll celebrate. But until then, I want to leave you with this scripture. I love this. This is First Peter Chapter 4, and this is verses 7 through 11. Now, this is out of the message version. I don't often teach out of that, but sometimes it just puts Scripture in such a beautiful way. It says this, again, 1 Peter 4, 7 through 11. Everything in the world is about to be wrapped up, so take nothing for granted. Stay wide awake in prayer. Most of all, love each other as if your life depended on it. Love makes up for practically anything. Be quick to give a meal to the hungry, a bed to the homeless, cheerfully. Be generous with the different things God gave you, passing them around so all get in on it. If words, let it be God's words. If help, let it be God's hearty help. That way, God's bright presence will be evident in everything through Jesus, and he'll get the credit as the one mighty in everything. Encores to the end of time. Oh, yes. Uh, I love that scripture. God will get the glory through this if we remain the church. If we act like we are reflections of Jesus Christ in us. If we do those things, God will receive the glory from this. God will bring us through this. And we will get to celebrate together as one body in this place again very, very soon. Be encouraged by that, folks. I am I love you. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.